Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome to my Let's Hack of the Lame Hack the Box the ma Machine. Let's get right started with it. And as you may know from my live streams, I usually do this in VS Code. That may seem weird to some of you, but bear with me a second once it starts up. We can use VS Code to have a neatly organized workspace uh, with all the logs and all the notes and everything so we can later create a report out of it if we wish to <clears throat> So let's create the directory for our lame challenge. Let's call it lame and Then just open this one in Here somewhere it should be here perfect Let's save all the changes on this all the challenges and trust the authors of this one, which is me. Create a new file, let's call it notes.md. This is the file where we can put like all the notes that we gathered throughout this challenge. Is there something else to add? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find something along the way. However, let's get started with it. We have our IP. So let's just do a quick scan of the entire thing. Like a really thorough scan of everything, which is gonna take forever probably. Do we need something else? No, we need the IP. So luckily for us, we already know that one. So we don't have to do a host discovery. Let's do a full scan. We don't care about being noisy. We could even do it faster, but for now let's just run this one. Now in the meantime, while this one is still waiting, we can check out already if it has some form of web interface, web site, something going on there. It doesn't really look like it. It's loading, it's taking pretty long to load up. Maybe because of the VPN, I'm not sure. Let's try it in here where we have all our stuff. Let's run this. Maybe in here we will find something. We can also just try a quick nmap scan of port HTTP and HTTPS of this machine to find out if if it even has a website. Let's uh, come on. Let's first ping it to make sure that we even can access it. Okay, it looks fine. We have access to the machine. We can ping it. We're in the same network. Everything is like it's supposed to. It doesn't look like we have a website open though, which is pretty weird because if we take a look at the challenge description, the name is injection and CMS exploit. Am I working on the right one? This is the IP 129. One to nine, two, five, three, one, two, three. Yes, so this should be the correct one. I'm not sure what content management system they're using without having a website, but that's what our full huge scan is for. We can in, at the same time just run an nmap scan, a quick scan, so to speak with that IP and of course I now copied the URL so we always get the URL but we can run it with the IP and check out if we find some of the most things some of the most used ports however this looks like it doesn't like the scan in that way so let's do a PN scan like it's suggesting us. And now we find a couple of things. 
all right so we have we have a 21 so we have an FTP server open we have SSH we have NetBIOS and Microsoft DS so here we found it as well <clears throat> we even found out what what what's what's going on in here so we are using VS FTP D we have open SSH for Debian open Ubuntu okay so we can from our um, OS guesses we can see that it's probably either a Linux or some modem or some some embedded device like a router or something like that <coughs> then let's say message signing is disabled which is pretty good for us if we think about uh, using responder and doing some SMB exploits pretty cool for us Then we have a little trace route We can directly hop to it. All right Then here we have another port that we didn't see on the top 1000 which is this dist CCD Now I haven't now this is the only one I actually have no idea what it does. So let's first of all <laughs> let's grab this all this entire thing with the command and type in a full scan so we have it in our notes <clears throat> when we want to come back to it. We also have it in here and in here. Now this XML is pretty neat because now we can essentially run search exploit and pass it this file the xml file and just um, put the entire <coughs> let me rephrase this so we have search exploit we pass it the full scan and it finds the exploits for this scan now let's save this into a exploits list then we can take a look at this one it looks awful in here but it's just for our note keeping let's actually just run it like that and then we see a couple of exploits that we could use now sadly i have no idea why that is but search exploit doesn't necessarily find the exploits for the corresponding version it just finds it for all of them now we can already see here there is a backdoor command execution which is pretty neat if, we, if you think about that all right okay so let's go to our nodes and then we can create a, a list of possible exploits now we're still in the enum phase we are not gonna hack it right now even though it could be pretty easy we want to do it in a in a nice manner using the right methodology to practice the methodology then we have open ssh 4.7 it doesn't seem <coughs> to have any results so here it says lower than 6.6 .6 not sure if that applies for our but let's grab it let's take it and put it in our notes as well just for good measure and then the rest has no exploits are you kidding me are you telling me that samba and netbios have no exploits all right okay if you say so <clears throat> And I think that's basically all we have to do mainly now for the enum. Now one one thing we get to do here as well is since I don't know what this this CCD actually does, we can check out what it is. So it looks like this CCD is a distributed C C++ compiler. 
server is the server for this CCC. It accepts and runs compilation jobs for network clients. That's okay. I'm getting more and more confused by this challenge. I mean, in the name. So first of all, it's called lame, which is already a lame name. <laughs> but here we have injection and CMS exploit. I don't see any CMS. I, I hope I'm co connected to the correct box. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain to actually have the keys, the flags. <clears throat> but maybe we can do something with that. I'm not sure. I have no idea what it is. Uh, so I just read it that it's that it's it has something to do with compiling C code over the network. I don't know. We can, of course, just open up MSF console now that we've done a bit of enum. Well, we have just done some information gathering, checked the open ports, the versions and everything. Found a couple of exploits. So we know there are exploits available for this version. There are exploits available for different services that we're using. And now the thing is that we have to find those exploits either in Metasploit or run them in another manner. And I think that's all that we're going to do in this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.